Well, Leech Lake Youth Build often works on projects that deal with construction and carpentry. This month, they've teamed up with a local business owner to build American wooden flags. Malaka Tom has the story. A couple weeks ago, the Youth Build coordinator reached out to the Cedar Sense owner, Michael Vale, for a collaboration. They came up with a plan to manufacture 100 wooden American flags under Vale's guidance. Um, teaching them exactly step by step and in, in, in different stages, you know, five to six different stages on how to create this product. But not only create this product, but to put your, put your creativity behind it, but also, you know, I eventually have to, to uh, sell this product and it has to have quality behind it. One of the major problems the program has had over the years is attendance. Vail created an incentive initiative called Cedar Sense Deal in hopes of retaining students. If I give them so many units to be made in so many days, so a deadline, and then you add on top of it that if they have a uh, attendance rate of 90 percent, then the incentive is that I'll, I'll give them out of my own pocket uh, two weeks worth of uh, labor. Students have been making wooden flags for two weeks. One student says they've been learning new techniques. It's like a group project and each of these flags are unique. They're not the same, so um, see the creativity among us. Youth Build ties in education, construction, community service, and leadership skills all together. Students work on obtaining their high school diploma, GED, or their adult diploma. We hope they learn work ethics to be to be at work every day and on time. All day is good. And that, that they get carpentry skills and take them with them and use them throughout their life. And if they don't go on to carpentry, as long as they know it and they can use it in the future. The goal is to make 100 wooden flags by April. Reporting in Cass Lake, Malak Katab, Lakeland News. So far, students have made around 20 flags. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.